how to say I'm pregnant. Okay. There's a bun in my oven. Oh my. <laughs> I'm gonna have a baby. I'm gonna be a mom. Before we dive into this video, this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. If you don't know who Ana Luisa is, I love Ana Luisa and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. So Ana Luisa is a jewelry company that is tarnish free, long lasting, and they offer amazing prices for the great quality of pieces that they offer. I personally love them. This isn't my first sponsorship with them. Today I'm wearing this little mama necklace because it's just, suitable for this video, am I right? <laughs> or am I right? And I'm also wearing these mini love knot earrings, which are just so stinking cute. And I also have this Uma bracelet, which I love because it's just so simple, dainty, and it's just so cute. It's so cute. I absolutely love Ana Luisa. They are amazing. The quality, guys, is just top notch. And they are offering really good discounts right now for the Black Friday season because Black Friday is not really a day anymore. It's like a whole month at this point. Don't miss out on these really awesome discounts. I will have a link down in my description so you can shop till you drop. These jewelry pieces are really great gifts for other people. Christmas is coming or for yourself because they're just so cute. So yes, click the link in my description and check them out. Okay. On to the nitty gritty. Let's talk baby. Yes, baby one, not two. I am having one baby. Who is my baby daddy? That would be my lovely boyfriend who is just in this room right here with me and he's on his phone right now. His name is Steven. If you guys have not seen him in past videos of mine, you can go see what he looks like, I guess. We've been together for seven, going on eight years now. Love of my life. Don't know what I'd do without him. Super grateful for him, period. What? What I mean what? What, what, what? What am I having? What do you think I'm having? <laughs> you have no idea. Okay, anyways. What am I having? I am having a baby. Okay, you already know I'm having a baby. But I'm having a baby girl. Whoa, holy crap, I'm having a girl. It's so weird. I really honestly, like deep in my heart, thought I was having a boy. I have no idea why, like I had no, well, actually I do. I did like the Chinese calendar thing and it said it was gonna be a boy and I just in my heart thought it was gonna be a boy, but it's a girl and I am so grateful that it's a girl. I'm excited. I'm an only child and my mom is my best friend, my sister, my mother, and I'm excited to have my own little best friend, like my little mini me. So I'm really excited to have a girl bring on the pink. When are we having a baby? Okay, I have known for quite some time, even when I was filming some of my last videos, I knew I was pregnant. I knew I was pregnant around four weeks in. I took a pregnancy test. Actually, <laughs> let me show you. I took, uh, how many is this? Two, three, four, five, seven tests. Yes, I took all seven of these uh, pregnancy tests in one day uh, and I was about four weeks pregnant. Yeah, crazy. So how long have I known? I've known since June. So I'm currently 20, let me look at the calendar. 20, yeah, I'm 26 weeks this week. 
So I'm more than halfway through my pregnancy and I'm due February, the end of February, possibly the beginning of March. I mean, you know how babies work. They never come on their due, they, due date, do they? So yeah, I've been pregnant for a while. I've been keeping the secret deep within for some time. This definitely was not a planned baby pregnancy. It just happened, which I'm still so blessed that it happened. Babies are a blessing. But that brings me into where. Now, I don't mean where it happened. You don't need to know that. Uh, but like, where are we right now in our life, in my life, in my pregnancy life, my new life. Well, that, I mean, I've been gone, you know, COVID-19, just the year 2020 in general, it's just been, it's been a show. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just really trying to survive like you, like we're all just trying to survive here, you know? This world right now, this year has just been so like congested with like chaos and trauma and anger and if you watch some of my other videos, I lost my job and I just been like trying to figure my shit out. Honestly, I'm still trying to figure my shit out. Like I don't have my shit together, like for real. I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying guys, I'm really trying. What more can we do, right? Like what more can we do? I'm just realizing though, during this process that like these emotions, I mean, they're obviously heightened because of hormones, which are so real guys. Hormones, they're real, they're there and Ugh. They suck like oh my god, but I'm realizing that it's okay to feel these things. It's okay to feel All this stuff with everything going on in the world, you know, like what I'm feeling is normal What you're feeling right now is normal going into the question why I do believe every woman has a right to choose whatever your life choices are. Um, but I chose to pursue this pregnancy and just try to give it my all because I realized that I'm 26. So for 26 years, I have just been like doing what I need to do to like get by, you know? And I realize now like I can't worry about myself anymore. Like I have to worry about this little human and like how I'm gonna raise her. It's a, it's a lot to think about, it's a lot to think about. I have to put my whole perspective in someone else's eyes and really think about that and like how I'm gonna do my best to raise this little girl to the best of my abilities. So I'm realizing that like for the longest time, 26 years, like I've kind of been a child in a way because I've just never pushed myself. I've never motivated, motivated myself. And now it's time to grow up and it's time to do something different. And the path I've been going on just hasn't been working. So I need to go on a different path. Whatever it may be, I have no idea. I'm again, still trying to figure it out. All I know is I just really have to focus on like myself and do the best I can to make sure that I'm gonna be the best mom that I can be and just love my daughter with my entire heart because that is what's most important. So I'm just, <sighs> That's why, I'm just, that's why I've been gone. Like it's just been, it's been crazy guys. Like, oh my gosh, it's been so crazy. These past couple months, like, oh my gosh, it's just a roller coaster. As for how, I mean, I'm not gonna get into how babies are made. Um, How am I doing? Yeah, let's talk about how I'm doing. I am doing okay. Like, I'm just gonna be honest, I'm doing okay. You know, in the beginning, it was very hard. I'm gonna be honest. Like, me having a background of, like, depression, it just didn't mix well because my situation when I found out was just so not ideal to be pregnant. And it's, it was very, it was a lot for me, a lot of emotions. And then, I mean, hormones, hello, hormones. So yeah, like in the beginning, it was really, really hard to just like even think about it. Like I just wasn't, I just didn't know what to do. Like, you know, everybody makes it seem like when you're pregnant, like you should be so grateful. And babies are a blessing, absolutely. They're amazing and they're just so like loving and innocent and everything. But I just didn't feel that right away, honestly. Like I really didn't. I was stressed, like I was like, holy <laughs> how am I gonna do this? I can barely take care of myself. How am I gonna take care of this little human? 
next year. Like, I was terrified, terrified. You know, luckily I have a partner who is extremely encouraging, extremely just there for me and that has helped me tremendously through this process uh, my mom has been a really great support system lately having people around you that love you and want to be there for you and support you is just so so nice <laughs> And I'm really grateful for all of them. I'm doing a lot better now. I go to the doctors every other week because I have high blood pressure all the time. I'm really like anxious all the time. And I'm just naturally a very stressed person, which is just so not good, so not ideal. But you know what? I am a firm believer in everything happens for a reason. God has a plan for me. God has a plan for this baby. Like I've been learning to let things go and just let the chips I do want to say thank you though to those of you who have reached out to me because you know I've been MIA. It's just so crazy how just kind-hearted a lot of you guys are and I'm just like so grateful for that. For that. Uh, a few of you guys have known that I'm pregnant because I've shared that with you over like direct message or whatever. But yeah, I'm just so blessed and thankful to have really nice people surrounding me. Even if I don't know you, like, thank you. That's just a really kind thing to do. Like, and I'm just so appreciative. So thank you. As for YouTube, YouTube, uh, I mean, I've been gone for a hot minute. I mean, uh, it's hot minute where where do we go next with this youtube thing oh, oh my god i just like scratched a pimple and like my skin is breaking out so bad guys like <sighs> makeup makeup's barely even covering it anywho youtube uh where do i go from here i have no idea i know everybody loves the nail content and i don't blame you like i love nails i haven't done my nails in months it's so sad but by the way Prenatals and being pregnant is the key to having like beautiful, luxurious, long and strong nails. So I know the secret. But anyways, um, yeah, I know everybody wants nail content. Everybody likes that the most. I'm just not in a place to provide that right now. And I'm just like not sure where to go from here with the YouTube thing. I've always done just kind of like whatever I wanted, you know? And it's like, do I want to put my maternity life on the internet like i don't know like i don't know if people want to watch that i don't know if people care enough you know i just i have no idea i have no idea so if you have any suggestions leave a comment i don't know i i just i don't know but yeah that's my story that's why i've been missing an action you know yeah i'm pregnant i'm gonna be a mom to a little girl I can't believe it. Even to this day, I'm like, what the heck? Like, this is really happening to me? Like, what? It's just so crazy. It's so crazy. Those curveballs, man. Life. Throwing those curveballs at me. Throwing them hard. Uh, I don't have a name for her, by the way. So if you have any name recommendations, um, comment them down below. Also, if you have any positive advice, definitely shoot them down below for a first time mommy because I have no idea what I'm doing. Literally the other day I started a baby registry and I like didn't even know what to put on the baby registry. Uh, so I am all ears, all eyes. I am open-minded for any and all positive advice. Okay, so shoot them in the comments down below, please and thank you. In the meantime, I do wanna say really quickly, how are you doing? Because, you know, like I said, this year for a lot of people, it's just been like a freaking roller coaster, like. Sometimes we feel like sad and angry and like sangry, you know, like ah, sad and angry, like oh. Like the other day I literally had a meltdown in my car. Oh my gosh, I had a meltdown in my car. It's happened like once a month where I just get like one of those sangry episodes where I'm just so sad and so angry at the same time. And it's inevitable it happens, you know? So how are you doing? Also comment down below because let's talk about it. Let's just get those feelings 
out. So I just, I hope you've been doing well because I know I've been gone. I haven't talked to you guys in a long time and I just don't know how everybody's doing. So how are you doing? Tell me, let me know. Now you know how I've been doing. I'm doing, I'm doing great. You know, I'm thriving. I'm not glowing. Clearly I got pizza face over here. And if you're pregnant, we're in this together, babe, for reals. It's weird to think like when I was holding this, I'm like, oh my God, I peed on all of these. That's kind of gross to like think about like my urine on all of these. Uh, Yeah, anyways. Okay, don't forget to check out Ana Luisa, you guys. Their jewelry rocks. Seriously the best, so sustainable, environment friendly, quality, top notch. Couldn't ask for anything better. Like it's seriously just so good. So check out that link in my description. You don't wanna miss out on these sales. They got things like buy one, get one 40% off, which is like a steal. So jump on that bandwagon, guys. Check the link in my description. <sighs> Anyways, that's it for this video. Uh. Oof. Ugh. Also, I'm just like so gassy, like burpy and gassy, like <sighs> this pregnancy symptom stuff is just like, <sighs> it's like a whole new life for real. Oh my God. And not to mention my boobs, my boobs, it's like they exploded and they're like looking so weird. Okay. TMI. Sorry. Anyways. I don't know if you want to hear that stuff, but it's just reality for me right now. Like, I just don't know what's happening to my body. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Also, my registry tells me how many days till her due date. It is, I think, exactly 100 days. 100 days till she's due. I just want to be healthy and, you know. I know. <sighs> We're going to be parents together. Can we do it? Of course. We can do it. Always. <laughs> Always. And also, I wonder how my cats are gonna do. Like, are they gonna freak out? Are they just gonna try and sit on her all the time? Like, I have no idea. It's gonna be so weird. It's just an adjustment for everybody, okay? Like, oh, and my mom, she's gonna be a grandma before she's freaking 43, I think. 42? I don't know. I don't even know how old my mom is. She's in her 40s, but oh, I'm freaking out over here. I'm just, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm gonna be a mom. I'm gonna get bigger. Oh, maybe let me show you my bump. Let's see if I can get it in the camera. Um, it doesn't, like to me, it just kind of looks like I'm bigger, but I don't know. My belly button's doing weird stuff. Like, what is that? What is that? I don't know. Yeah, that's my story. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Thank you.